Hello guys, uh, in today's tutorial we're going to be solving problem 20 which is the factorial digit sum. So pretty much all it wants us to do is get the factorial of 100 and then we sum up the individual digits and that should give us an answer. So for this one we sum up uh, 3, 6, 2, 8, 8. That gives us uh, 27. So it's a pretty easy problem. So let's go ahead and solve it. So let me uh, create a class. And I'm going to call this one factorial uh, digit sum. Let me just close this out and pull this up. So what I'm going to do is use a big integer to create a private static uh, big integer. Call this one factor. Uh, int value then what I want to do is I'm going to say there submission is going to equal to big integer dot one just because we're going to be using this to multiply the rest of the values then we create a variable x this is going to be equal to the value and then it will be x is greater than zero to x minus minus. All you have to do is just say that the submission is gonna equal the submission and then we're gonna multiply. And we can use the big integer dot value of and just pass in x here. And then we can go ahead here and just return the submission. And that's pretty much done. So what we want to do is just pretty much sum everything up. So private static uh, int sum factorial digit. It's going to take in the value that we want to go sum it okay so all you have to do is pretty much uh, get the digits that we want from the um, factors method and then what we want to do is we want to pass in that value and then we want to get the two string of it then we want to create um, the variable to hold the sum then we can use a for each loop so var c and then I'm gonna do uh, digits uh, this must be s digits dot um, to char array then we're gonna say that the sum we're gonna plus equal then we can use the integer dot parse int method and then we can use the character class and then convert the character to uh, string all right and then we can go ahead here and just return the sum all right so all that's left is for us to go ahead and create main and then we're going to do the sum factor digit pass in 100 and this should give us the solution for it all right guys this will be it for this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next tutorial if you like the video give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel